You may need a bit of imagination to piece together the puzzle that is Sutra nowadays, but it used to lie on the only medieval highway into Scotland. Anyone who wanted a piece of what lay beyond had to pass through here. Hi, I'm David with Digit TV, and today we're investigating the lost hospital of Sutra. This ordnance survey marker indicates that we're 1,200 feet up, and that makes Sutra the highest medieval hospital and monastic site in the British Isles. Now, you'd think that somewhere with that kind of description would have to be up in the Highlands somewhere, but far from it. We are a 20-minute drive from Edinburgh. The earliest surviving charter mentioning Sutra comes to us from 1164, and tantalizingly, it's already mentioned as an ancient place in that record, so it's got a very, very long story. In the 1460s, however, Sutra was beset by scandal, and many of its lands were transferred into Edinburgh into what would become Trinity College Hospital. Now, that itself is hidden underneath Waverley train station, so we've got not one, but two hidden hospitals in the area. How neat is that? And that, together with the Royal Infirmary in modern times, gives us a picture of a thousand years of medical history in and around Edinburgh. Sutra was run by the Augustinian Order, and that meant one thing, quality health care. You could stay with any of the monastic orders in order to get your wounds or ailments tended to, but if you stayed with the Augustinians, you could count on surviving. At least, so their PR department insisted. The real key to Sutra's success and prominence is that it lay alongside the ancient Roman road established 2,000 years ago, and that's really the main artery into Scotland. For that time period, every major army to invade Scotland and invade from Scotland has gone along that track. So can you imagine the volume of people who would have been passing by Sutra on a near daily basis? We know at least one of these armies was Edward II's army en route to the Battle of Bannockburn in 1314. That was an army at least 20,000 strong, and they stopped at Sutra, and it's very likely that there was accommodation for almost everyone on the grounds or at least in the area around the hospital. Now, when we're talking about the Roman road, this is no single track. It's absolutely massive. I'm standing on one side, and Dr. Brian Moffat, who leads the investigations at Sutra, is on the other side. This thing is huge. There are many names for the old Roman road, redeveloped as it was quite a few times over the centuries. One of those names is Deer Street. Most people in the medieval period would have simply called it the Royal Road. And the Royal Road linked Sutra with Jedburgh Abbey to the south and Holyrood Abbey to the north, both fellow Augustinian institutions. With all these people coming and going up and down the main road, some of them healthy, some of them not so much, it's a lot of people needing the Augustinian services. So you could actually draw parallels with Sutra and something like a modern international hotel chain. After all, the Augustinians weren't just established in Scotland, but in England and much further afield. Thanks so much for joining us, and if you've enjoyed this video, do leave a comment, let us know what you think, like, and of course subscribe, and you can get lots of more fantastic information on Sutra Isle's own website. Thanks very much.